What is up Beach Bumps? Welcome back to another episode of Bama Beach Bum Tries to Catch a Fish. Today I've got it out for these dad gum black drum that hang out in these canals. If you knew how many times I've been out here trying to catch one of these fish, you would be embarrassed for me because dad gummit I've tried a lot. I've used everything from crab, sand fleas, live shrimp. I used some other crap too. I can't even remember, but I would put it right in front of their face, wouldn't eat. Talk to my buddy, Dusty Hayes. He's like a professional catching these black drum in this canal. He gave me some jigs. Dad gummit, we're gonna catch one. So here's one of the jigs. It's a Bugs jig. Bugs, I think is the name of the brand. Bugs fishing right there. But I'm gonna add on some uh, some Pro Cure. That's the juice. It's gonna totally help me catch a Mondo. All right, so I've been out here about 675 times. I've yet to hook up on one of these black drum, even with all the things that I've tried. But what normally happens, there's all these rocks up and down this canal here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I about just died. Don't, I don't recommend that. Don't do that. They will be tailing. You'll see them, they'll like pop up right along the edge like really close to the bank if you look up and down you can usually see their tail come out uh, or you'll see like a boil where they kind of you know come close to the top of the water so anyway i'm gonna just kind of walk and look around and see if uh, i can spot any that i can put the jig in front of their face oh there he is oh my gosh he's right there all right Alright. He's going out deep. Come on, buddy. I lost him. I don't know if he saw me or what. But these fish. I don't think he I don't think they see me because like they're it's tailing. Like its face is in the freaking rocks. We got one down this way. Got one. Oh, down there tail tail waving right in front of that bush all right just went back down dang it oh is that you is that you over here is that a rock i think that's a rock One right there, that's going in front of his face. That was a good cast. That's the one I might have just seen. There's another one down close to where my truck is. That cast I just, just made uh, before that one was the first one that I felt pretty good about. Still mad at the black drum. Big uglies have defeated me again these guys are uh they're driving me i got an ant crawling on me they're like ants and gnats and all kinds of bugs i don't know i, I got i got a couple of good casts on, on maybe like two fish because they pop up real quick and by the time you get there like you can't see them anymore but there were a couple casts that i felt really confident about we're gonna keep trying again you haven't seen all of the the attempts out here but i have i've seriously come probably four or five times now with different baits, different approaches, and have yet to be successful sight casting these big uglies. So we're gonna change up the game plan. Um, I really wanna to try to catch some fish today. So I'm gonna to go to the pass and see what's happening. There's a, literally a black drum tailing right there. Well, we have made it to the pass and I've got some bull minnows. Beautiful day, a little windy. We got a nice southeast wind coming in. Really like to see some mangrove snapper. They're probably catching them underneath the bridge over there, and many of you may even comment, hey, you're in the wrong spot, but I'm going to fish against this wall. There are probably like 50 people underneath that bridge right now. That sounds all well and good, but there is not a good position. He's got some marks on him. Like something's trying to eat him. That that looks like mangrove snapper. <laughs> Look at that. Cutting freaking half, man. All right, that, that's gotta be some mangroves down there. They're probably small, but I still wanna catch them. There we go, got him. 
Got him. Hey! <laughs> Finally, he is tiny, but that is a mangrove snapper. Tiny little mangrove snapper. Such a pretty fish. First fish of the day. Had to work really hard for this fish, so I'm proud of it. See, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, it's a fish. Finally got our first fish of the day. It was a tiny mangrove snapper, but hey, <laughs> it's like two or three o'clock. Started fairly early. Got a later start than I wanted to, but been a few hours, took a lunch break, tried for those black drum, and I've uh, completely changed the game plan. If we could get a keeper mangrove, like today would be a huge success. There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. That's a better fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that one. <laughs> that one's got to be legal, man. Check out this mangrove. This is the biggest one I've seen in a while inshore. Not, not that I fish offshore, but you just don't see a lot of big ones inshore. Beautiful fish. I'm going to get a measurement on him, but he should be legal. He is 12 and a quarter. Good fish, man. Heck yes. Today has been such a struggle <laughs> to get a, a quality fish uh, for inshore mangrove snapper fishing. This is a good fish. 12 and a quarter, solid. Two nice fillets on it. This one's going home for dinner. There we go. Got him. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That one's running. That one's running. Oh, good fish. Good freaking fish. Oh, dang. Look at that mangrove right there. That's, that's a fatty. Look at this fatty mangrove, man. That's awesome. These are some nice ones for, uh, for inshore. Check out the teeth on these guys, man. They've got some serious chompers, beautiful colors. We're making dinner, man. Like, started out to be a pretty crappy day, but it's turning into a good one. For those of you wondering about gear and rigging, of course, just using a Carolina rig. I've got 15 pound mono. I've got a size four J hook, a uh, small swivel, I think it's 60 pound, and then a one ounce egg weight for my sinker. And just using my 2000 size pin battle two on my Sea Striker Contour seven foot inshore rod. I believe it's medium action uh it doesn't say on here but it's a quarter ounce to three quarters of an ounce weight so just so you know no many of you ask so these snapper are liking these minnows fresh and alive if uh after it gets hit and it's not real lively they pretty much quit biting but once i drop a live one down there usually it gets some attention oh there we go something's on it Oh dang, he the, he like hit and swam up the wall. See, yeah, he, he had it in his mouth, just missed him. All right, we're gonna get a lively one because again, if I drop that dead one down, they seem to not be interested in it. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Got him, got him, got him. Oh man, he's digging. Golly, he's digging. I don't know if this be a keeper or not. He'll be close, but a good fish. Not a, not a complete dinker. <laughs> he might make 12. They really want a, a lively bait like if you put if i can put a lively bait down there usually within a few minutes i'm gonna get hit pretty pretty quick this one's 11 and a half gotta go back pretty fish close thanks bud catching some fish Woo, it's fun to catch fish i love it All you do is there we go, oh, there we go. Yeah. there's a fish He's close. Nice. There we go. I foul hooked him. <laughs> yeah, he's. He, I don't think he's gonna make twelve. I'm gonna say eleven. One of my favorite spots. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Gotta go back. See you, bud. 
What's your name? Jason. Jason, okay. Yeah, there man. we go. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> uh, get off the wall, get off the wall. There we go. Heck yeah. Uh, no, they're, th that one might make it. He might make 12 right there. We'll, we'll try it. It's uh, bull minnows. Yep. So you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the video today. Hope you enjoyed me goofing off, catching a few fish. Turn the day around with uh, some mangrove snapper. Excited about that. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I did recently just post some merch. It's right below this video, right below the description. Check it out. Help support the channel. Get some cool stuff. We got some weird designs for you coming your way. Guys, thanks so much for watching. And as always, you stay bummy.